I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. Welcome to the Hoof GP. It's just time to do my hair before we go. Done. How the devil are you? I've been on holiday for the last 10 days. Sometimes you wake up and you just want to be like, yes, let's go, game on. And then you realize, <laughs> To date, there have been 468 videos, followed by 3.6 million of you around the world, accumulating 6,400 years of footage via 1.81 billion views. This is the Hoof GP, and this is a look back at the year 2022. Good morning, hello, and welcome to the Hoof GP. This is the Hoof GP. This is the Hoof GP. That's bad, and I'm gonna fix it. Oh, look at me, this is. Good morning, Craigie boy. Good morning. <laughs> look at that fine figure of a man. Morning, Graham. Morning, guys. Let's get going. On the board, the love parade. <laughs> 2022 was filled with an absolute mountain of laughter, love, good memories, and bad cow's feet. Although along the way, we did fix a huge amount of them. But more than anything, 2022 was filled with memories. Is that us here? Yep, that's us. How you get? And just like that, we are here, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> this time, I just need to crack on and get it done myself and stop being so lazy. I told you to wait till I'd finished seeing the, seeing the bit. There is a huge bubble up here. Stations of a uh, gag were not showing the area rather graphically, but probably a huge relief for her. This cow will need to see her vet at some point because of that abscess. If you give her a second, she'll start to walk better on it. Throughout the year, we made cows more comfortable and had some awesome company along the way. Mrs. HGP is here! Thank you! Oh, this is the new and improved Craigie Boy. <laughs> so today we have Roberto on the scraper tractor. Say hi Roberto. Look at that man. Wow. Right, tell me what you think's wrong with it. You've got a corpse bringing on. You see? You see? Doesn't turn feet, doesn't really work with animals. He knows it's corkscrew claw. It's so easy putting that thing in position. <laughs> right, where's Wig Town Show? Right Craig, there's one your size. Go on, now's your chance, now's your chance. Craig's big moment and he didn't fail to disappoint. Pretty obvious for us all to see what the problem is. This is most likely the problem. In fact, look. Look. Lesion. It's not going to touch the ground. Everybody should get a Craig, and if you would like one, subscribe now to get your free Craig. No returns though, sorry folks. I'm sure you'll agree, there's more than a slight difference. This bull doesn't even want to put weight on that front right foot. Throughout the year, we had some big <gasps> surprises. Look what I can see. My God. Looks like a welding rod, doesn't it? We made a huge amount of cows and bulls much more comfortable and got to grips with using the KVK all the while enduring the odd unpleasant surprise. You're anything while I'm trying to talk. Seriously? But we do love them, don't we? Over the course of 2022, we trimmed just over 18,000 head of cattle and took pride in trimming every single one of them. We could go crazy and leave All throughout the journey, I tried to educate you on what cows were thinking and what they were needing. Ooh, what's that? Or, ah, what's, what's that? that? She's got a huge stone completely wedged inside her foot. 
How would you like that to be stuck in your shoe? Looks like the stone has been fully incorporated into her soul. Some of the cows were an extremely easy fix, and there were highlights every day. It maybe seems insignificant, but knowing someone's at home wondering how your day's going and caring brings me a massive sense of warmth. That's what you call a good surprise. Story time. Hey, Graham, you can't yawn gudgy if you're doing the rod. Is his still fit, David? That piece of metal should not be there. Just for clarification. Look how much that sticks out. And just like that, we've pulled something else unusual out of a cow's hoof. This is what I mean by stepping it back. That's her on her way back to the field to graze with the rest of our herd mates. As you can see, it squatted out, then started to dribble out, and eventually we ended up removing virtually the entire sole from this back right foot. It's a huge improvement over last time. Just basically ruined a perfectly good set of quarter of tense gloves. It's coming out of your wages. So you can see the remnants there of an old injury. Burst down, actually it didn't quite burst out. This is how she's walking today. We were able to fix many of the cows completely by ourselves, but others needed a helping hand from the farmer or the local vet. Good boy, on you go. I've forgotten my gloves. Same. And see if it's good. This was the foot he could barely bring himself to touch the ground with. Or like that. We did many rechecks, some partly successful and some 100% a success. Look at my flags, by the way. They're everywhere, all the way around the building. We even appeared on TV on a few occasions. Hoof doctor Graham Parker's unusual specialism has won him nearly 2 million followers online. They don't need much work, but don't tell him that. Love milk. Clever, huh? And find what I've been hoping for. We carved and squeezed our way to some huge successes. Some of the transformations we achieved were bordering on unbelievable, but almost all of these wouldn't have been possible without the help of the farmer and dairyman. Look at the before and after pictures. The after's on the right, by the way. <laughs> nice and easy breezy. He's still not looking happy though. Hopefully it'll be obvious. We had some real challenges, but spirits were always high. Oh boy. Over the course of the year, we saw a lot of abscesses, some explosive like this, some in the white line of cow's feet which tracked up the outer wall, and some in front feet, just like this one, a pool of pus, some of which made absolutely incredible recoveries. Just imagine the relief cows like this must have felt. Look at the difference in that. Look, it has completely healed, it's not sore in any way. Being able to help these animals is not only fantastic because we're actually helping them and making them more comfortable, but it's also the way that I feed my family and that's something that makes me incredibly proud. By working together with the farmer, the dairyman and the hoof trimmer, we've overcome this cow's problems. And this is how she's walking today. I also gave you a peek into what surrounds the actual job of hoof trimming. Lovely! Tracked him and Graham to the rescue. Cause we're in this together now. You and me together now. What's the point of living? Jack of many trades, master of some. On to the next cow. After the coffee. <laughs> you must get so bored of watching me drink coffee. Her foot has a massive flap of completely detached hoof on. In between the hundreds of cups of coffees, we dealt with cows with numerous problems, sometimes with multiple problems. We dealt with white lines, sole ulcers, sole fractures, digital dermatitis, toe necrosis and pedunculated coriums. Happy days! And we did the best job with every single cow that we possibly could. Along the way, there were some bulls which were too friendly and some which definitely weren't. But either way, they always received the best of our abilities. This back left foot had a sole fracture, and this back right foot had all sorts of things going on that needed us to be a little inventive. Just look at the difference in this one now. Looking good. How's he walking? Look at this. We have layer upon layer upon layer of hoof horn that is completely detached. This is when you need nice, fresh, razor sharp bovibon knives. 
to delicate little things like this, it really helps. Pikachu says hey. Pika! Was a friendly one. We had a huge amount go right for us, but we also had our fair share of things go wrong a for us. A few little mess ups, but nothing serious. Famous last words. Ouchie. Look, we have a convertible crush. Thanks, Craig. You're so welcome. And while he's busy with that, Kevin will try and run out of the scene just behind me. Did you see it? Replay that bit. <laughs> yeah, there. And I'll drink my coffee. Craig reckons a few cups of coffee is going to make up for the crush. <laughs> We visited farms right across the length and breadth of the UK and even managed to visit this beautiful buffalo farm where they produce amazing buffalo mozzarella. Come on! On you! <laughs> <laughs> She's maybe friendly but I wouldn't want her to turn nasty. These are just beautiful calves, they really are. In between petting gorgeous calves, we had some colossal buffalo feet to trim back, some curled and gnarly Aberdeen Angus feet to contend with, and even some smelly Holstein feet. Not forgetting the odd surprise. I think we've spotted the problem. Finding something like this in a lame cow's foot is like gold, because it means that when we remove it and block the other foot, it'll be problem fixed. It is February and it's starting to get really cold. Even Keeks isn't feeling well, are you, mate? I invited you guys, the herd, this amazing online community, into our lives to share with us the ups and the downs, the trials and the tribulations of working as a hoof trimmer here in South West Scotland. This mover system really does work. That's what we like. What's on the menu today, Craig? Toffee not latte. Ideal. It didn't always go perfectly. I've no idea how... <laughs> you can see the remnants of the block, so Bovey Bond's still doing its thing. But even when my speech was showing lack of effort, the trimming never was. Every ounce of our ability went into every single trim. And when those laminae become infected and inflamed, like they have in this cow, you get this kind of patronation. My dashboard looks like a Christmas tree. Got a hammer, we can hit something. <laughs> Craig has substantially more body mass than me. So I recruit him to help me into the bush with this first buffalo. That was easy. And this is bad. In amongst the happy cases that we could completely heal, there were some cows that we could only make more comfortable, but never truly heal. And this was one of them. There is a huge difference. That difference will transfer to the comfort of this cow. That hoof's never going to win any beauty contests, but the interior of it is actually starting to heal already. My wife sees this, she's going to be like, oh, what were you doing kissing that cow? This is what I was excited about. Yes, I have the apple and steel, and yes, I have the amazing KVK. But this, this is a Whopper 61 track drive. That's right, it's track drive. <laughs> All in all, surely this was the most dramatic abscess of the whole year. Just imagine the pressure that must have released. Along with the occasional trims, we had cows who returned again and again. And this was one of them, cow number five. As you've just seen, she was incredibly lame. And it was all due to this dramatic abscess. See the movement. This was full of pus. It's actually still disconnected here. When you can have such an instant and dramatic effect on a cow's levels of comfort like this, 
My job is hugely gratifying, but then when that same cow returns only a few weeks later and you find her foot looking like this, the feeling is overwhelming and you can truly understand where people like me get their passion for hoof trimming. Now this is the before and after. Cow number five's foot is pretty much completely healed and while she wraps that, we'll go and do the front left foot. <laughs> There's new stuff. We're building an extension onto our house. It's time to get the work gear on like that. As you can see, when we let the bull down, he goes down with the crush and then crawls out on his knees. As with any vocation, things can and do go wrong. And here is something that did go wrong. But I'm glad to say it all worked out in the end. And it's a massive improvement from what it was just the other day. Tom sent me a message around a week ago. We also went down to Lancashire to visit Tom Pemberton and his horny little bull, who was having some issues with his front feet. Oh, hey team. Oh, Craig looks nervous. <laughs> Craig! <laughs> so we are down here at Adam Quinney's farm, and this is Adam Quinney, funnily enough. Good morning. Love you. It's an awesome summer's day. Hey, now look into the gravel of the future, folks, I'm telling you. Yeah, it is. Go down. Whoosh. That's a big one. Never heard that before. I think you can probably see a bit of it. I know I can. Done. Metsuzu is going. I hate the thing. I've just realised that doesn't fit under that. Uh, <gasps> right, boys, bring it out. That went well. Anyway, what I meant was, look at that beast. There we go, boys. Clearly, he could probably just have walked underneath that. He's done that for dramatic effect. I mean, you can't tell me these cows look off. They just don't. It's Kev boys, first day on the job. Hi, Kevin. Stay safe, stay safe, stay safe. <laughs> 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 Couldn't just give him a normal kick. We've just pulled a whole handful of gravel or stones or rocks or whatever you want to call them from this cow's foot. Five stones in one cow's foot. Hello! Documenting our lives here in southwest Scotland while hoof trimming and taking the kids to work is something I love sharing with people right across the world. Although Craig wishes I didn't share everything. Craig, this is the head, this is the bum. They should be round the other way. I can explain how this happened. Apparently, cow388 has got some serious problems. We're here, and so are they. And what do you know? She's the first cow in. Can you see it? Right there. We removed all sorts of things from cow's feet and even from their ankles, just like this barbed wire wrapped around this cow's foot. If this isn't a happy ending, I don't know what is. And just like that, my name is Graham Parker and you've been watching The Hoof GP. Guys, thanks for coming along on this journey. See ya! What a year, what a community and what a herd of amazing people you all are. Thank you all for being a part of this journey.